Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and we'll be continuing with our advanced bash scripting course and like I told you in the last video that in order to write advanced scripts you should be familiar with or you should be very good with a few of the shell commands in, in uh, Linux, right? And they are like cut, uh, awk, sed and a few more. So in the last video I covered cut to the best of my knowledge. Uh, in this video we'll be going over uh, awk. So awk in itself is a scripting language and we'll do awk scripting later in the uh, series. But for now I'll just be covering the shell command awk which is provided to us by the bash shell, right? And we'll see what stuff we can do with awk, right? So if you remember with the cut command we were uh, doing some stuff on etc pass wd like getting the username, getting their shell and stuff like that, right? Uh, I'll show you how you can do the same stuff in awk and how it is much easier compared to because where there are you actually have to do grep and stuff like that but here in awk you can actually pass patterns in the awk command itself right so let's start so uh, the first thing is what we can do is we can look at the man page of awk so man page man page actually refers awk command as quark because it is a new new project implementation and how awk got its name is it is actually after the founders of the language which is aho cunningham and weinberger so a k n w taken from the initials right so that is how it got and the documentation is uh, like very extensive right so you can just read through it i'll try to cover whatever i know to the best of my knowledge right but there are really really advanced stuff in this doc okay so the first thing we can do is we can do something with etc pass wd so say suppose i want to print uh, the line in the file which has root right so earlier with cut you actually have to do a grep on root but with awk what i can do is i can do awk and then i'll open the quotes and i'll say i'll provide the pattern which is root and I'll print say so awk actually has these positional parameters from 0 to like infinity right you can print any number of uh, values you want so I'll just print the first value which is represented by dollar one and I did not provide the file sorry and you need to provide the file which is etc pass wd so you can see I got the first line right so this is the first line return as a part of dollar one but what if I just want the username, right? So I actually have to tell it some delimiter like we used to do in with cut, right? So now I can provide a delimiter with hyphen F and I'll say my delimiter is colon, right? The best because fields are separated with colon. And now I got the username. And if I get rid of this pattern, and just run this command I'll get all the usernames right so that's that's one thing you can get multiple values as well so if you just do here say I want to print the first field and I want to print the say the third field right so you'll get the third field and this is space separated uh, we can do something a little advanced here is what we can do is we can specify the separator so what we need to do is begin and OFS would be equal to say I want a hyphen right and yeah so you can see now all my entries are actually separated by hyphen right so you can do that but this is more like a awk scripting thing which we'll cover later right so you can ignore this all right so the next is what i want to cover is uh, maybe i'll cover some special variables so awk has these variables called nr nf right and they basically represent uh, rows and fields so fields by fields is like I mean columns right so suppose 
again I'll use my etc pass wd file and yeah dollar zero as well so we didn't talk about dollar zero so dollar zero actually re returns the entire file right so if I do awk and I print dollar zero and I pass it etc pass wd you see it will return me the whole file right but it's not of much use but if you use it with nr right so if suppose i want to number my file like i want to set the line numbers right so what i can do is i can just set nr over here and then just run this right you can see my file has got all the file and all the numbering right that's one good of you use of nr and similarly if you want to say someone is pinging me let me just silent my phone all right and suppose if you want to calculate the number of columns so what you can do here in the same command at the end of the file you can say nf right and now run so you can see this has one field one field three field and why are we getting this because we have not provided any field separator right so if we provide a field separator it will actually so let me show you and if we do hyphen f and we provide the field separator as colon so now you will see all these have seven fields right so if you count one two three four five six seven so yeah so all the lines have seven fields so that is uh, the use of nr and nf uh, one so they also have a different implementation uh, with dollar nr and dollar nf right so what we can do here is to let me clear the hmm, and So for this example to show dollar nr and dollar nf what I can do is actually I can create a demo file right and in this I can create columns say first second third fourth and then in the next line I can do fifth Six, seven, eighth, ninth, and tenth. Right. So, so the first line actually has just four entries, four columns, and the second line has one, two, three, four, five, six. Right. So let's see what we can do here. So if say I want the last entry right so I can do awk hyphen f and my field separator was a space and then I can print dollar four and demo five right so you can see I got for the first line it, I got the correct output but for the second line I got number 8th right because I mean my first line actually had just 4 columns but my second line had 6 columns. So how do I get the last column of each line right so that's an interesting use case you and you would actually be requiring that a lot in bash when you're doing scripting. So for that uh, nf comes to your rescue and you can simply just say print dollar nf and this would actually print the last column of each line right and similarly if I do nr I've never experimented with nr but let's see what we get with nr so I think this prints uh, so for the first line yeah so nr actually does like for the first line it will print the first uh, field for the second line it will print the second field and if we demo file if we have another line say 
and in this I'll just go for numbers 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, right? So for this line, it should print 3 because that is the third field, right? That is what NR does actually. So if we just do, so you can see it is printing 3, right? So that's, that's how dollar $NR works, right? But dollar $NR is not something you'll use uh, regularly. Dollar $NF, yes, it would be used a lot. All right, uh, so we've covered a lot of stuff. Uh, one last thing I can show you is you can actually uh, do mathematical operations uh, in ARC itself, right? So I have a file here. Uh, it's called numbers.txt. And this is nothing. It just has numbers from 1 to 10, right? And I can do something like awk and I can do sum equals or plus equals plus equals dollar one and and I'll print sum if I have not done any syntactical mistake uh, this should work yes so you can see I got the output as 55 which is actually the sum of all these numbers so you can calculate you'll get 55 right so you can do such mathematical operations and there's one more interesting thing. Uh, if you get rid of this end over here, you would actually see uh, the detail. I mean, how the operation is being performed, right? So one to two, three, six, ten. So you're getting the sum at each uh, iteration, right? And and likewise, you can actually perform a lot of. And I'm doing dollar one because all these numbers are the dollar one. I mean, this is these are the first field of each line, right? If you have say numbers have different field you can actually calculate the sum of those as well right i mean you can imagine what kind of script you can write with this so you can calculate the sum of uh, say if you have a file and at a particular position or a particular column you have say prices right and at the end of the file you actually have to create the sum or you have to calculate the sum of the prices column so you can actually do that with awk right so that's another thing you can do with awk. And I think for this video, probably this is it. This is what I wanted to cover, mostly important uh, variables and how you can actually do patterns in the awk itself, right? So yeah, please just go uh, go ahead and play around with awk a little. Read the documentation if you can. There are a bunch of stuff in the doc, uh, which probably I also maybe don't know because you see, I mean, in daily basis you probably don't need the kind of stuff which is there in the documentation right so yeah just i mean it's a good thing to read the documentation and probably this is it for this video i hope you like the videos guys uh, please do subscribe to the channel before leaving and thank you for watching